Hello, wonderful fans. Welcome back to Auto Insight Reviews. Each show is an adventure, and you're always a part of the fun. If you're new, click the subscribe button to become a part of our great group. The Sportage's basic powertrain is a 2.5-liter four-cylinder engine with 187 horsepower paired with an 8-speed automatic transmission. The vehicle can be ordered with either front-wheel drive or all-wheel drive. On our first drive, we tried out both the regular four-cylinder engine and the hybrid drivetrain. The hybrid was more enjoyable to drive than the four-cylinder. On our test track, it took the non-hybrid Sportage 8.6 seconds to get to 60 miles per hour but only 7.4 seconds for the hybrid. The Sportage is built on a new chassis with a longer wheelbase than the last version. This makes the ride more comfortable. With tougher trims like the X-Line, the small utility vehicle looks like it can go off-road, and the X-Pro model is built to handle rough terrain. It has black 17-inch wheels, all-terrain tires, and a number of different drive modes. The interior of the Sportage is stylish with a big digital screen on the dashboard and other nice-looking features. The interior can have either two-tone colors or all black. The piano black bezel around the center console's rotating shift knob, push to start button, and other controls blend in perfectly. Due to its bigger size and longer wheelbase, the Sportage has more space in the back seats and can hold up to 40 cubic feet of cargo. The storage floor has two levels which makes it even more flexible. The Sportage's entertainment system comes with useful features like Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. Every model comes with a digital gauge display and an 8.0-inch tablet for entertainment. If you want more connections and clearer images, you should get the bigger 12.3-inch touchscreen display. Touch-sensitive buttons below the infotainment screen let you switch between the music and the temperature system. You can have a better Harman slash Kardon system, a wireless phone charger, and a Wi-Fi hotspot that you pay for.